video. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we are. Where are you gonna park? Wherever. Molly, my tooth is already half like. I think they're all taken. Uh, today we are at the boat club. And is there one right there? And um, we are going on a tour to see what this is all about. They're gonna show us some boats, walk us around. Better not be no poo boats. Show us how it works. And they have 43 boats in their fleet here, so. I don't really know. But it's pretty busy because everybody must have got off work and came and got a boat. No, oh, still filled with boats. Yeah. So, um, I'll film a bit. Because we came this morning. Yeah, we came at <laughs> 9 o'clock thinking our appointment was at 9 and our appointment wasn't until 4. So, we have Ellie. Emma had testing at school. So, she had to stay late at school so she didn't get to come. But she's done with her testing now. Do I have to go walk around? Yeah, well, you're not sitting in the car. So, I'd say these ones under the awning are these... Peoples, maybe? Yeah, see they're building new ones here. Mm hmm And these must be what they rent. I'm not sure. We're gonna they're find out. Rent them, but you use... part of the boat club. No? Uh -huh. I mean, evidently they got storage. Should be interesting. So, I'll show you around. I didn't film there because one, it's so hot. It is 92 degrees. And, and you could just feel the sweat pouring off of you standing there talking and looking at the boats. But I'll drive around and I'll show you the boats as much as I can, show you the place. It's pretty cool. What were your thoughts? Mine? Yeah. My thoughts are like any thoughts. You hate to spend the money. I mean, they had some decent boats. They had some poo boats too I wouldn't be interested in. I don't want a pontoon boat. We know. would take the pontoon out. Why? No. A couple times. Just because they're cruising boats. You can bring more people. What if your mom and your brother were here and they wanted to bring friends? You ain't fitting them on these boats. Oh, buddy system. Yeah. Buddy system. That's why you get a pontoon to bring more stuff if you wanted to like. Well, they're not going to be here every time we go. I know. You can take a boat every day. Every day. Would you guys be able to take two different boats? I don't know. Oh. Why would I? I don't know. I didn't ask that question. So, um, we have to decide. Wait, wait, the one boat that we left that day, he said him and his wife or whatever went on. Yeah. I liked that one, the first one, and that's how. The little and skip. Then, the one with the thing on the front, the seats on the front. That was that little bitty one. No. Uh, she's talking about this one. I know. I only took a no, photo the of that. One. No, I like that one too. But the other first one that we went on, that was. The one that we were there that he said his wife and whatever just took me in today and that uh, you're like, oh perfect, they can sit up there and do nothing. Yeah. That's the new ones. Yeah. So I like the front. Mm -hmm. You park here and then they have these little carts right here that you load your stuff up. And you wheel them over here, the little like uh, awning place right there. And then that's where the workers are. They load your stuff, help you load your stuff in your boat. And then here is here are some of the boats that you can take. And then this is hard to keep still. If you go around that building, there's a whole row that way of boats. It's all the way around. Yeah, and then it goes all the way around. So here it goes around back this way. And this is more parking right here. But that's the back side of the marina behind this building. 
and that's where the water is actually behind this building and then there's a pool here you can use so if you come in and you're hot you can jump in the pool to cool off um well because that's boat rentals and stuff but right down at the end of this road see that white building down there i mean see it that's where the water is yeah there you go there's where the water is down there and that all those boats over there are the rest of their boats so it literally goes all the way around everybody's got a white truck yep it's funny. there you go there's all the boats that way and then back that way so yeah we just have to talk about it and figure out what we want to do but There is the rest of the boats going that way, and then I'm guessing they're building more apartments or condos or whatever those are. Alrighty, we are home. We've been home. We, I went to make steaks, and they were bad. So, I had to throw them away. And we decided to get Panda instead. So, we got panda and ate that and now it's nine o'clock i had to call my mom and tell her happy birthday so i did that because today is her birthday and yeah that's pretty much it um our screens got done our floors are getting done on the 24th um my yeah correct what I said, um, why wasn't I invited? To what? I asked who's going. She said, I want this grand Dan, Robert, and Dana. I said, why, um, why am I not? Why was I not invited? I said, same, LOL. The correct piece of my furniture came. Except for the cushions. They didn't have the cushions. The cushions are on back order. So I have to wait for the cushions. Um, I gave Zoe a bath because she was stanky. So I had to call the vet and ask the vet if I could get her feet wet. So I did get that done and I blew her dry and I had to dry her feet. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the day. We haven't decided on the boat club. It's expensive. It's definitely not cheap. <laughs> um, but um, our blue jet ski, we took it out Saturday and it broke down again. So it's back in the shop oh and so it's back in the shop. It needs another part. So we've already put like, I don't know, $800 into it and it keeps breaking. So Mark had mentioned something about trading it in and getting a new one, but like new ones range anywhere from 10 to 14,000. So I had said to him, well, let's just sell both jet skis and do the boat club. And he's like, no, let's keep the jet skis because we could take those out with us when we go out on the boat. So I don't even know what we're doing, but we have to figure it out. And we'll probably talk about it when the girls are at school. So there's no interruptions and we can lay out the pricing and decide and look up pricing of jet skis and then decide which is the better avenue to go. So we'll keep you updated on that. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for me. I have to put Ellie to bed um, and I will pass you off to Emma. She can update you on how her test went and what she's been up to. And I will see you guys tomorrow back with a video, another video. Good night. Hey I'm in bed, I took my makeup off. I think my eyes are like swollen, sort of. My bags are like really red in the itch because I have these new makeup wipes and I don't know if they like irritated my eyes, but they're like really red. But I'm exhausted. It's only 9.30 and I'm about to fall asleep because I took my AP psychology test today and let me just tell you, I can't really discuss it. Um, let me just tell you that was probably the hardest test I've ever taken in my entire life. And I studied, like, I studied, like, for two hours in first period today. I studied a little bit last night and then I remembered everything from the mock exam. And that was like 120 vocab terms and not a single term from that list was on the test. I was like, oh my gosh, that is really hard. Um, I definitely did not pass. Yeah, which is bad. I definitely think I got a two. I didn't get a one, but I definitely got a two. Um, for sure. Like, 
I would be so surprised if I ended up with a three. I think I need like a 70% to have a three. Um, the FRQs, yeah, I didn't do really well in those either. So, um, I had, had to be at the community center at 1130. So I left after their third period. So I missed all of my periods like yesterday. I mean today. <laughs> Um, which kind of sucks because I have all that makeup work, but like I'm like done for the year like in AP psychology like We're not learning anything new. We're not like learning the content or anything like now We're playing cards against Psychology for two days this week. I think we're going over the FRQs on Friday and then for like two weeks we're watching a movie and like just doing like a film study on it for like two weeks so there's like ugh, I don't know I'm I'm just glad it's over with because like I was stressing so much about it being Tuesday but like now I'm just like stress free and like yeah it's over and done with so like I said I won't know my score until July so yeah um you know I still haven't figured out my ACT score when I took the test I still have to find my score it's like somewhere out there um so that happened today that's why I'm exhausted. I don't know why, but I just cannot stay awake. Um, when there was like 10 minutes left, I was on like question 82 and I was like really about to give up, but I didn't, I like pulled through, but I definitely guessed on a lot. There was like stuff that I just did not know. And I was like, I don't re I do not remember going over that, but anyways, it's over and done with. So I'm like really happy, but I didn't have any homework. Cause like I said, I missed literally all my periods. So yeah, I'll just get all my work from today, tomorrow. So I'm gonna finish editing my video and then I'm gonna go to bed because I'm tired. <laughs> so anyways guys, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'll see you all very soon back with more videos. Bye guys.